I'm going to use. And let's say the drainage or the efficiency is 70%. Okay. And so let's calculate. I'm going to expand this one. Okay. And then, yep. and then just let's call it RD. Here, I don't, I don't need to use my in place. Rather, I use or I need my cumulative oil production. So here, I'm going to call. I'm going to summon, okay, and then equation actually, I'm going to use script and call it NP. All right, and another parameter that's very, very, very important here is to subtract it with residual oil saturation actually. Okay, I'm just going to put it here. So you need to know that during production, your well cannot extract the well. Your well cannot extract the oil down to the residual oil saturation or more than the residual oil saturation. Okay, the, 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 the residual oil saturation will always be there. So the oil available for you for production is of course one minus initial water saturation minus residual oil saturation okay and again you cannot drain all the oil down to the residual oil saturation okay because the sweep the drainage is not perfect it's not perfectly efficient so that's why here we use the drainage factor or drainage efficiency or sweep efficiency. Okay, by the way, let's let's use sweep efficiency here. Okay. Symbol, I'm going to put the sweep efficiency there. Okay. So it's like this. To calculate, to compute the drainage radius, the current drainage radius, we use this. Okay, I'm going to put it there. Actually, you can also calculate the drainage radius at the final time. And in that case, you need to replace the cumulative oil production with the EUR, estimate ultimate recovery. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to compute. So square root, 